Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the Grab On Readathon reading vlog. Today is April 1st and it is 7.30am and I'm going to start reading. I didn't want to stay up till midnight to read because it's also Easter Sunday today and I have a church service to go to and Easter Sunday means a lot to me so I didn't want to be very tired for church so even though I usually start my readathons at midnight tonight I decided I couldn't do that. So what I'm going to do is read my four chapters of Blue Lily Blue for my buddy read and then I'm going to be starting with the challenge of read a book in a genre that you haven't read this year yet which is horror with my Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I'm going to try and read 100 pages of that this morning and then if I can read any extra for the rest of the day, I'll be doing that. See you on the other side. Tensions are rising in the Roach family you as we play Udo. Hey guys, so after those riveting Uno games, I'm going to give you a bit of a reading update. So basically, other than church and spending time with family, cooking Sunday dinner and playing games, I haven't really done anything else but read. So I've read 100 pages of My Best Friend's Exorcism and it's way creepy. It's quite creepy. It's creepier than I expected it to be. We move somewhere where it's a bit lighter. Um, also, this is not a good book to read on a readathon because it's a hardcover which means it's quite tall and its pages are quite long and the, sp the font isn't very tidy but it's taken me longer to read 100 pages than I thought it would. So not a very good readathon book but I just, while I was playing Uno I got a message from the person I'm buddy reading Blue Lily Blue with and she said that she couldn't stop reading and she's finished the book now and I haven't finished the book so I'm gonna sit down I'm so hyped to read the end of this because literally finishing and our buddy read chapters this morning it was like so hard to do because I just wanted more tension 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 so I'm going to sit down and read this book finish it I'll come back on here once I've finished and then I'll give you a bit of an update before I go and post on Instagram and probably eat cheesecake with my family I just finished Blue Lily Blue it was so good I can't wait to read the next one tomorrow Hey guys, it's April 2nd, the second day of the readathon, and I wanted to give you an update, so I don't know how much I'm going to vlog today because it is my parents' birthday, and yes, my parents, they were both born on the same day of the same year, they are the same age, so yes, we'll just be celebrating together as a family, but yesterday I did read until midnight, and um, as you know, I finished Blue Lady Blue, that's 60 pages of that down, and then I also, reading until midnight, read half of this book, well a bit more than half, I'm up to page 184 of My Best Friend's Exorcism. You guys, this is majorly creepy. This is why I don't read horror because it actually creeps me out and this is so good. I really just need to finish it so I know what's up. But today is the second day and I'm supposed to be reading, let me get it for you, Unravel Me by Tahira Murphy. If you've seen my book review, it's got spoilers in it of Shatter Me, link down below. You could know how much I hated the first book, I was totally sassy about it. But I read some of this this morning, I'm on page 78 now, and I actually am enjoying it, so it's a bit of a turnaround. I'm not enjoying it a lot, but I'm enjoying it a lot more than the first one. So I'm going to read up to page 128 of this, because I said 100 pages a day, I was already 28 pages in, so page 128. And then if I read 100 pages of this, which goes so much faster than reading this, because this is actually a big book and the pages are like taller than little paperback young adult quick reads, I think I'll go back to reading this because I just, I need to know what happens next. Yesterday I went to bed, yesterday I went to bed at um, a quarter past midnight round about, I woke up at seven, but I really had bad dreams and I only slept like in little pieces of like half an hour that I would wake up. So even though I woke up and I did yoga and I did some reading and I did all this jazz, it is now 11.15 in the morning and I've had a productive morning but it's time to go back to sleep because I really have not got enough sleep. I'm like yawning, I'm crying because I'm yawning, so uh, it's midday nap time. <laughs> I'm on a walk and um, I'm going to get a donut. I'm very excited because I love donuts <laughs> and um, my little sister's laughing at me. But it's true, I really love donuts and I eat clean usually, but we're gonna get some donuts. <laughs> I'm also walking with my mum, let me show you her. It's a birthday girl, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Look at these lovely flowers we got. And we've got food and donuts. 
Really, Daddy should have bought those flowers. Good morning, everyone. It is April 3rd, and it's the third day of the Grab and Readathon. It is 9.30 a.m., and I have read nothing so far, but I decided to just you know, do some other stuff. I am editing my March, end of March vlog, which should be up by the time this video goes up. And um, it's about 18 minutes long, which always makes me nervous. I'm always so nervous when I upload a long video. But yes, I'm editing that and I'm gonna edit the beginning of this vlog so that my phone has more space on it. I am going to hopefully read a bit of every book today. I want to read more of My Best Friend's Exorcist. I wanna read more of Unravel Me, more of The Raven King, and I'm gonna be starting looking for day today. So that's a lot of reading. Hopefully I can find the time because I'm also meeting up with one of my good friends and we are going to lunch at the Happiness Cafe, which is like a healthy, clean eating cafe and I haven't been there before and she also likes to eat clean so today's gonna be a good day. I realized that I didn't do a summary of what I read yesterday so let's go. So I also read 44 more pages of my best friend's exorcism. It continues to be crazily creepy and petrifies me by its realism and yes that is stressful, um, kind of stressful. I've read um, 38 pages of The Raven King and the forecast reading of what's going to happen in this book was very, very intense. The tensions are rising, the stakes are rising, and please, please give me more Adam because Adam Parrish is bae. And I also read 106 pages of Unravel Me, and surprisingly, this book is better than Shatter Me was so far. I mean, the romance still makes me want to roll my eyes because I've never met two more overdramatic people in love other than Edward and Bella, but the difference is that I love Edward and Bella. It's also kind of tripping me up that I'm reading two books where there are main characters called Adam. I don't really like it because there's one Adam that I really don't like and there's one Adam that I love. And <laughs> It kind of bothers me that I'm reading two books where the main character has the same name. But you know, you gotta live with it. They're gonna be in it. Guys, I know you only see me in this shirt, but I changed back into it because it's so sunny outside. It's so lovely and bright. But I went out to lunch. I had this lovely nacho healthy bowl at the Happiness Cafe with this brilliant smoothie. Nice time with my friend. Then I came back and I read the four chapters of The Raven King. It's literally breaking my heart. I don't foresee this book ending well and that just makes me feel so down because I just wanted to end happily ever after but I don't think she's gonna let that happen. Um, now I'm going to do something, do something. Hopefully do some more reading because I haven't started the book that I was supposed to be reading today. And also I haven't done much reading at all today. I'm making dinner. Yes, there'll be more food in this vlog. <laughs> Can you tell I love food? I'm making this brie and architoke. Arch architoke. I can't say that word. Architoke. 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 <laughs> I can't say it. Well, that and brie and spinach pasta for the first time. So... I hope that goes well because I found this recipe online. I didn't the world know what I'm suffering. You know, I just said, you know what? Okay, so if you could see the dinner, it was pretty good. And yes, I've just been doing things like getting my parents presents and stuff like that. So going to start looking for day. It's actually almost 9.30, so it's a bit late to be starting a new book. But I was supposed to read 100 pages of this today. I'm going to try and read as much as possible and just... See where I go. I'll probably fall asleep, but hopefully not too soon. Good morning. So last night I only read 22 pages of this book before I fell asleep. So I woke up today and it was like 6am and I couldn't sleep anymore because I'd accidentally fallen asleep so early. So I've now read up to page 100 of Looking for Day. It's the 4th of April. 100 pages of this done, which is what I was supposed to read yesterday. So today I'm going to be starting my next read and hopefully making progress in all of the others. I don't know why I'm just starting so many books. I feel like that was a bad idea. I should have like chosen some books and just actually stuck to them. But so far I've read over 500 pages in the past four days, which is pretty good, pretty good for me. It's about midday. I've got Unravel Me here. While I'm reading, I'm listening to music on the television and my March wrap up video is uploading. It's gonna take about an hour, so. An hour's worth of reading time, let's do this. About 40 minutes on the upload, so music's still on. Pasta leftovers for lunch. You can probably hear the music now. And I'm going to start my buddy read chapters. 
Hi guys, it's been a really long day. I'm so tired because I've put my March wrap-up video up, I've put my March wrap-up blog post, my newsletter is up, I've been replying to blog comments and YouTube comments and sharing my posts on social media and then as well as that I've been visiting other people's blogs and other people's channels and on top of that as well I was also doing some like life admin stuff because my family is a family of six in total and every year we try to at least go on one summer holiday as a whole family together which is a bit harder now that my two older sisters work in England and my parents are working here I'm in uni in England and my little sister's at school here so it's hard to find somewhere that we all want to go then we also have to get flights that are decent priced and then find a holiday home which has wheelchair access and then know what we're going to be seeing and like plan our itinerary and it just takes a lot so I did the research for three potential holidays today but yes it's 20 to 10 at night and I feel like it's almost midnight that's how tired I am but I'm just going to like get into bed I'm going to read only 25 pages of my best friend's exorcism because I don't actually want this to be the last thing I read before I go to sleep so I might read some of this and then maybe read more blogs or just do some like chill mindless blog stuff and I don't know if I'll read anything more after that my brain's really dead I'm tired sometimes I get too tired to read some people find reading to be relaxing and I do for the most part find it to be relaxing but I'm really really tired I'd rather just watch something because that takes absolutely no brain power hey guys so it is April 5th and I'm going to give you a quick reading update and a life update so today we've got like three more days on this vlog including today and today is another stay at home day where I'm going to be productive at home and then Tomorrow I'm going to meet a friend for coffee and chill and then on Saturday I'm also meeting up with another friend So there'll be some more live stuff coming today. I'm just gonna be doing things like ironing chores I'll try and show you guys, but it's not that exciting. Anyway, so my reading update for last night. Let's do this So before bed I read 31. The light is so bright today. Whoo. Okay, so I read 31 pages of my best friend's exorcism it's creepy but it's coming up to the finale and I'm looking forward to finishing it. I read 54 pages of Unravel Me, It's Becoming Bad Again, which is not good but yes, it's not as good as it was in the beginning. And then I read another 78 pages of this. It's an indie book but it's so good. I'm actually really enjoying this fantasy. And lastly, I read 29 pages of this buddy read which was... It's heartbreaking, it's still being a bit heartbreaking. So this morning I did some yoga and literally broke my back. No, I didn't break my back, but I'm trying to do the king pigeon pose, which is really hard. I don't think I've ever really shown you yoga on my channel. So next I'll put a clip of me doing my yoga practice. Maybe I'll put some clips of me doing my workout tomorrow in, but it's all nasty and sweaty, but whatever. Anyway, so yes, I did yoga. It's time to do some ironing. Guys, chore number one on the go. I actually like ironing, I think it's calming. It is time for me to start reading Great Expectations. Can we just take a moment to appreciate Deckled? edges. Can I just say that I'm well aware that Great Expectations is not good for a readathon. Look how small that font is. Oh gosh, it's taking me ages to read one page. Not readathon material and yet I'm actually enjoying it so I'll keep reading. Hey guys, it's after dinner. I just totally forgot to vlog after dinner and I've been in such a bad mood today. I literally just stayed in bed or read in bed or did university work in bed. So um Yes, yeah, so I'll give you an update on what I've been reading right before I go to sleep, but right now I'm with my little sister. We're doing maths homework. Mm. Vectors. My maths is better than hers, naturally, because I'm the smarter sibling and I was given all the brain cells. It's day six of the readathon, two more days to go, and it's time for an update. So yesterday, last night before I went to sleep, I did quite a lot of reading. Um, I read from Great Expectations, I read 66 pages, so today I actually have to read another 44 pages to catch up with my goal of reading 100 pages of each book, as well as read 100 pages of the next book that I'm supposed to start. And I also read 77 pages of The Raven King. So actually, my buddy read 
like person who I'm reading it with, my buddy I guess, was reading five chapters a day when I was reading four. So I was already about two to three chapters behind. Then I read the five chapters for yesterday and then I also read the five chapters for today ahead of time because I couldn't stop reading and I just literally kept wanting more. So I'm ahead of the game so I read 77 and 66 pages and then I also am going to meet a friend for coffee. We used to be on the basketball team together and I haven't seen her in like years I don't think I haven't probably spoken to her in years so we're just gonna grab a coffee and it'll be nice to spend some time outside of the house because as you know I've been in this house for a little while now Hey guys, so I just got back from meeting up with my friend Priya and we had the most delicious, well she had a delicious looking waffle and I had this shake thing that you saw and I've never been to that place before in city centre so it was really nice, it was good to have a bit of a break because literally all day I've just been reading I've been reading a book that wasn't even on my TBR, it's called Unica Looking at the Sea I forgot the author but there'll be an image here somewhere and um, it's like I have to read for uni and I have to read it before I go back so I thought what better time because I cut into, day, into today some hours to do studying and you know reading is part of my studying because I have to read that text and study it so I thought what better time to do it than during the readathon. Hey guys I just finished reading my ebook copy of Unica looking at the sea and I'm just so glad I read it because the ending was so sad I was literally like no why does it have to end like this but it, it said a lot about environment, poverty and hope and it was also set in Latin America and if you've seen my wrap up for March you'll know that I read a non-fiction book about Ecuador and the, polit the political situation in Ecuador as well as being an immigrant in Ecuador and you should definitely check that out because it just showed me so much more about the Latin American world that really is just not really shown much in Europe like I, I hear a lot about the USA I hear a lot about Europe and I hear some about Africa not a lot but there's still a lot more of Africa that I need to discover of Oceania that I need to discover and clearly Latin America as well so I'm getting into Latin American literature to learn more and I feel like I've definitely learned something about poverty from reading this one it was so good. Day six has definitely been my best reading day so far it's 11 30 p.m and I just finished reading My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I read the last 45 pages and I really enjoyed this book up until the end. I felt like the ending was just a bit too easy. Hmm. So I'm a bit suspicious. I'm going to read some blogs and actually sit up and blog comment for half an hour. Then it's midnight and that's my bedtime. Tomorrow's the last day. Oh, what am I doing? April 7th, the last day of the readathon. I am so sore from the workout I did yesterday. So I literally like walking. No, it's not happening. So no yoga this morning. About to read my five chapters of The Raven King in bed. Yes. Okay, guys, I just finished. Well, I didn't just finish. I read 45 more pages of The Raven King. Accidentally went two chapters over. Not accidentally, I'm not even sorry. I went two chapters over the body read count, so I'll have less chapters to read tomorrow. But you guys won't be with me then. And also, I am going to read Great Expectations. I have 25 minutes before I have to leave to visit my friends, so just 25 minutes of reading. And then I'm on my way, and then I come back and continue reading. Oh, yes, oh, yes. So, at the moment, I am running late. I am going into the garage and getting my bike, so I can go meet my friend. I am so late. I was supposed to be there in 20 minutes. It usually takes 25 minutes. I literally only read four pages of Charles Dickens because... I sat downstairs and watched Corey with my family while I was reading that's never a good idea because then I get distracted by their conversations, by the funniness and the humour that is Corey Nation Street. Proper British I know but I do love it. <laughs> and yep, now I'm on my way, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going and I'll be there soon. Hey guys, I just got back home. It was so nice to see Julie in town. We had a walk and then we just went to this park and we sat down and talked for ages because it is 23 degrees right now, which is amazing weather. So it was really nice to be out and about. I'm gonna go make dinner, pork in a mushroom sauce. Then I'm gonna post on Instagram on all across my three accounts, which you should definitely check out down below. And then I'm going to keep reading Great Expectations and I've got to work on my school essay. So don't think I'll be getting much more reading done tonight. 
It's been a good reading vlog. <laughs>